we have an email from Colleen who says, um, I have accepted a new position, Mother Miriam, I've accepted a new position with an insurance company as a claims adjuster for marine cargo. I am 63 years of age and I will have more responsibility than my last job. I will have to adjust to traveling to downtown Chicago two times a week and work from home the three other days. I am so afraid that well, I will not measure up at the company and make mistakes. I am afraid that I will ask too many questions and that I will not remember the answers to my questions. When I make notes, I am so afraid and stressed that my hand shakes. I end up scribbling my notes and I cannot read them after I get my questions answered. Can you please give me something to hold on to for encouragement? I have an adjuster license, but I'm still afraid all the time. I always pray for strength and trust, but I keep getting overrun by fear. Please pray for me. Love, Colleen. Two things I'm thinking of, Colleen. One, that God does not call the equipped. He equips the called. So if God has enabled you to get this job, you do have an adjuster license, you do have the intelligence, you do have the ability for it, they wouldn't have hired you otherwise. You didn't fool them, you didn't lie. Trust God that he has put you together with this company because you have what it takes. You don't have the confidence, but you have what it takes to be a good employee and do a good job. Trust God to equip you. Don't depend on your own understanding or your own skills. Trust God. And when we come back from the break, Colleen, I'll give you my other thought. Just before the break, we read an email from Colleen, who's a 63-year-old woman who just got a new position with an insurance company uh, as a claims adjuster for marine cargo. And she has an adjuster's license, and it's a more responsible job than she had in the past. And she's going to be working two days in the company and three days at home. And she lives in fear that she's simply not going to make it, that she'll fail in her job. Um, There's there's too many questions, won't remember the answers, and all of that. And just before the break, I mentioned the well-known saying that God does not call the equipped. He equips the called. So if you lack fear, Paul says, the Apostle Paul, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. When I am weak, I am strong. How does that make sense? When I'm weak in myself, depending on me, then I turn to God and then I'm strong. If you depend on yourself and your ability to figure everything out and do everything perfectly, you will fail. But don't do it. Trust God has given you that job, has allowed you to have it. The company assessed and hired you. They, they didn't, um, you didn't present a lie to them. They believe you have the qualifications for the job and without meeting you, I do too. So just say no, you're there to be our Lord's witness to them in your life. And if, if we live in fear, then we're really denying God. We're saying, Lord, I'm afraid because it's all dependent on me. And you can do that. But then we leave God out of our lives and we hurt him. So no, say, Lord, I can't do this. I'm afraid, but I can do all things through you who strengthen me. So I would, I would do that. And, um, oh, there was something else I was thinking of. Uh, and I don't remember it now. Um, but maybe maybe I got both of them in that one one answer. So rest, you know, when you have too much fear, Colleen, I'm going to make things worse for you right now. If you have too much fear, that's because of your pride. You're afraid you won't measure up. Don't worry about it. Nobody measures up. Go in there. You are a child of God. Be the witness. Be confident in his grace in your life and that he will help you and protect you. And don't Don't worry about it. Okay, no fear. That's an order. Okay. 